Hey guys, so hope everybody's doing well. I'm on my way to the record store. I don't know if you saw my Muddy Waters unboxing video with the uh, One Stuff, but I showed you a issue that I had with it on the first album where the album was warped and I showed you how the needle was moving up and down. And at first I didn't think the sound was affected too much, but on a second play of it, 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 it is, there's a distinct uh, issue with it, with the warping causing the sound to be affected. So I called over to MoFi and a nice lady, D. she answered the phone and she explained to me that if I, if I had ordered from MoFi directly, sorry, I'm going to put my window up. It's such a nice day. I have the window down, but I'm sure you don't want all that noise. So D said, if I had, if, if I had ordered from MoFi directly, they would do the refund process. But since I ordered it from a local record store, or purchased it from a local record store, that it has to go through them. So I called my local record store, which you've seen me do a bunch of videos uh, with them, uh, Kingfish Records, and explained the issue. And fortunately enough, they have another copy of it there. And they said, just bring it back and we will swap you out. So just wanted to do a little shout out to Kingfish. I'll show you the new one when I get it. So I'm on my way right now to replace that bad boy. So I'll see you in just a minute. So I just had a thought. I'm on, still on my way to the record store. Just had a thought about this. And this is where you have to be careful, I guess, when you're purchasing something like MoFi. Is when you... I think now what you need to do is find out where that person purchased their copy. Because here's the thing. If, if I go on to, I don't know, eBay or something and I buy that album. and Or this box set. And I have an open and I have a problem with it. So I can't call MoFi to fix the problem. And if I don't know where, what store or where it was actually purchased from, it, it seems like you're kind of dead in the water. So this would be good to know if you purchase one of these things, find out where they actually, what physical brick and mortar store, how they purchased the album. If they say they got it through MoFi, I don't know. I don't know if you need proof or something so this this actually raises a lot of questions and i don't have the answer to them you know so if they bought it from mofi what is mofi um, going to require are they going to require the receipt or proof of purchase from the other person so that might be important for the buyer to get with their box set um or like the record store i guess that would be easier but say you're in you know i don't know europe somewhere and you you buy this thing from somebody in florida how do you get it returned? So, unless you have somebody that really will work with you who sold it to you. So this raises a lot of interesting questions and it makes me a little more, you know, leery because I don't really keep, you know, like a receipt or anything when I buy it. And so when I go to, per to, to sell something, if I ever did, am I putting that other person in a bad spot or am I just gonna have to eat it? You know, I don't know, it raises a ton of questions. Sorry, I'm, my mind's just kind of, bumbling around so if you have any experience with this leave it in the comments so I'm almost to the record store now okay so I've arrived my kingfish and I have my box set to return so at least see what happens okay so that went very smooth. I went in, I gave them the, uh, the box set, and they gave me this new one right there. So, can't ask for better than that. So, that's Kingfish Records, man. They really, they do a good job with it. And, uh, and it, the, the number is about 8,000. Like I said, I don't really, you know, worry about it, but I'm always curious what the number is. So, it's about the same uh, number that I got the last time. So, yeah, everything looks good here. So, I'll, um, I'm not going to put you through a whole listening thing like I did last time but I'll go ahead and home and play this and then I'll let you know what I what I think of it so I'm headed home now okay so I got it home listen to it it sounds fine um, sounds just as amazing as the other copy so there's not no problem there um, but uh, there's still a little bit of an issue uh, first of all they still I mean look at that you think they would get this right I don't know what would be causing that because the record is in a uh, cardboard I think I showed you in the last one 
if I can get it out of here. Let me just put this one down. The record's in a, like a cardboard sleeve of its own or a little holder. So it, it's in this. So you open this up and then you have the album and it just kind of protects the album. It's like an extra little layer, which is cool. So I can't imagine that is what's causing this, like banging up against it inside. I don't know. But that's, that's disappointing. It's on both of those again. So again, you pay for a product like this. That's inexcusable for me. There's still a little bit of a warp on one, but it's it's a lot less. I'm going to show you. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't my record player. You know, the, the disc itself causing the problem, but I, I'll show you the second album and you'll see that it's not that. So you can see right there. Still see where it's kind of moving around in there. Hopefully I'm capturing it correctly. But the album's moving around, but it's nowhere near where the other one was. So that's the first album. So the second album we'll put on, and I'll show you that one also. This one's nice and flat. It forms over the, the plate nicely. Or the other one, you could tell it comes up on the edges. And you can see right there. I don't know if I can capture it correctly, but the needle's, you know, not moving like it was. So you can kind of see around the edges. So, so this one's going to be a keeper. Plays fine, um, and it doesn't have as much as a warp on it, so I'm just going to leave it as is. But um, it, it was pretty cool that the folks over at Kingfish just didn't even ask me a question about it. They took my word for it, um, you know, showed them the album, and, um, you know, they had another one ready for me. So, like I said, the big question is, is how do you handle it if you sell one of these things? So if you don't buy it directly from, if you don't, you know, I guess keep your receipt and have your original receipt available even if you sell it to somebody. So when they open it, they don't have an issue. So, because that could become a problem for you as a seller, I would think. Because uh, if they get something that's not open, you don't know if there's anything wrong with it. But if they open it and find that there's a problem with it, um, what do you do as far as helping them out, right? Because you want to help them. You can either just take it as a return and be done with it and go through the whole process, but, um, you know, but again, a, a, a quality product like this, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you that's kind of cool, I almost forgot, but let me finish my thought. The, a quality product like that, we shouldn't have to worry about these things, so that's the disappointing part that we even have to have that conversation, right? So, but it was kind of cool, because I don't know if you can see it here, this, this looks like a, just a black record, right? But let me see if it'll work, you, if you hold a light up to it, I put it here. I'm putting it on my its sleeve. Okay, so if you hold a light up to it, like I said, it looks. I can't even see it here. It's really cool. Uh, can you? I don't know if you can see it here. It looks like a regular album, regular, um, just black vinyl. But if you, if I can get it to do it, you can see right through the dang thing. I don't think I can. Can you? No. Well. Oh. I guess you can because that light is on the other side of it and you can see it moving around. But if you hold it up just right, you can see all the way through this album, which is really wild. So I don't know if I even get close enough, you can see me behind it. But if you can see me, but anyway, take my word for it. You can see right through this sucker. So that is pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you uh, th this worked. There's uh, informational for you and you got something out of it. Just wanted to share it with you, just a little follow-up from my other video. But this one's going to be a keeper. Um, you know, a little bit of warping. I guess I'm just going to be fine with it. It doesn't affect the sound, so we're done. So anyway, uh, if you have any experience with one of your own, leave it in the comments below. Or any, have any other questions or advice about this issue that I came up with, um, leave that in the comments. And until next time, hope you guys enjoy your music. And you take care out there, all right? Bye.